Okay, so this is my third and last example for our topic Z test for a proportion. It says a statistician read that at least 77% of the population oppose replacing 20 peso bills with 20 peso coins. To see if this claim is valid, the statistician selected a random sample of 80 people and found that 55 opposed to replacing 20 peso bills. At alpha, alpha equals to 0.01, test the claim that at least 77% of the population are opposed to the change. Okay. So, your statistician may nabasa na 70%, at least 77% of the population daw ay nag oppose in replacing 20 peso bills with 20 peso coins. So, ginawa ng statistician, nag random sampling siya of 80 people at nakita niya 55 of 80 people na to, I oppose in replacing that 20 peso bills. We're going to test if the claim that at least 77% of the population are opposed to the change. This is at alpha value of 0 0.01. So we're going to follow the five steps in testing the hypothesis. Okay, we have step number one. We're going to state the null hypothesis and uh, we're going to identify the claim. So our null is, there is no difference, meaning our proportion or population proportion is equal to 77% or that is 0 0.77. And our alternative hypothesis, no, it's not equal to 0 0.77, but it is less than 77%. So therefore, our population proportion is less than 0 0.77 and this is the claim okay of that article na nabasa ng ating statistician okay and for our step number two we're going to uh, determine the critical value and this is one tail test alpha equal to 0 0.01 0.01 one tail test or this is left tail test because of the word list you know? so this is uh, left tail tail test therefore our critical value is equal to negative 2.33 same as the ating example number two okay step number three we compute our test value but before that Kunin muna natin yung sample proportion. Sample proportion is p hat equal to x minus n. And 55 of 80 people oppose of replacing 20 peso bills. So that is 55 divided by 80. And the quotient is equal to 55 divided by 80 is 0 0.6875. 0 0.6875 okay now next we determine the value of q that is the percentage na hindi nag oppose dun sa ating pagre-replace ng 20 peso bills so this is 1 minus of p 1 minus 0 0.77 equal to 0 0.33 okay sorry 0 0.23 Now, we compute for our test value. Diretso ko na, that is P hot, which is 0 0.6875 minus 0.77 over square root of PQ over N. PQ, that is 0 0.77 times 0 0.23 divided by N, which is equal to 80. Compute natin. So, we have... Fraction on top is 0 0.6875 minus 0 0.77 at the bottom is square root of 0 0.77 times 0 0.23 divided by 80. Okay. So our answer is negative 1.75. For step number four, we're going to make a decision. Step number four. Step number four, you're adding negative 1.75. 
ay nasa outside siya ng ating rejection region. So, therefore, since our Z value, the computed Z value is equal to negative 1.75 and this is greater than our critical value of negative 2.33, our decision is do not reject the null. Okay? Kasi siya ay outside of the rejection region. Okay? So, naandito yung rejection region, negative 2.33. Naandito yung ating value na negative 1.75. So, ito yung rejection region. So, nasa acceptance region siya. Do not reject the null hypothesis. And for our last step is our summary. Okay? Summary natin is there is not enough evidence to support the claim no? that at least 77% of the population are opposed to the change. So therefore, there is not enough evidence. There is not enough evidence to support the claim. Ito yung claim natin. So we reject the alternative hypothesis. Okay? There is not enough evidence to support the claim that at least 77% of the population oppose replacing the um, 20 peso bills okay, by or with 20 peso coins okay so that is our solution for example number 2 okay we reject the alternative because we accept the null hypothesis so I'm going to give you activity sheet for this topic thank you